So welcome to the another episode of the Microvalue Institute. So to, today in this episode, we'll be learning about the law of independent assortment. So the law of independent assortment is based upon the two characteristics. So Mendel has done or proved the law of independent assortment by using the two characteristics. So the other laws, such as the law of dominance and the law of segregation, was based upon the monohybrid cross. So it was based upon only one character. But the law of independent assortment has the uh, two characteristics. So it is based upon the dihybrid cross. So what actually this law of independent assortment tells us that the characteristics of the plants of the humans are independent. For example, if the if the humans have the brown eye and he have the black hair, so it is not necessary that his children which have the brown hair, sorry, his three children which has the brown eye must have the black hair. So it is not necessary because these two characteristics are different. So during the gamete formations, all the characteristics alleles may have the different patterns. For example, if we take here the round and the yellow seed of the pea, similarly in the next we take the wrinkled and the green seed. So if you see, the genotype of this will be the RR and YR. So similarly, so for wrinkled that will be the small r and small y. So during the gamete formation, what actually happens is that during the gamete formation from the 2N, so this is the 2N, from the 2N it will be 1N. So, so it will be the N. So that will be the ROI and small ROI. So during the cross pollination, so whenever there will be the cross pollination between this round and the yellow and the wrinkled and the green C. So then what happens is that in the first filial generation all the all the cells will be round and yellow because here the round is the dominant characteristics and the yellow is also the dominant characteristic. So in the first filial generation the all the seeds will be the round and yellow if we cross it with the wrinkled and green seeds. So, but in the second filial generations, so if we self pollinate this one, so if we self pollinate this one, what will be the product? So we have seen that all these are the round and yellow, but during the gamete formation, there may be the different patterns. So one type of the gamete formation will be the capital R and the capital Y. Next may be the capital R and the small y. So next gamete will be the small r and the capital Y. And another will be the small r and the small y. So these may be the patterns of the gamete. So whenever we self-pollinate this plant or this, this plant, then what will be the product? So the product will be somehow, so if you see here, RY, RY, small r, capital Y, so similarly here will be also the same gamut, because we are self-pollinating it, so here will be also the same gamut. So what will be the product now? So the product will be the capital R, capital R, capital Y, capital Y. So you can write the product, you can write the product in this way.
so if you see here so this type of the products will be appear so here so what can we tell us that so if you see this indicates the round so similarly this also indicates the round and arrow this also indicates the round and arrow and this also indicates the round and arrow because this is the dominant characteristics so this also indicates the round and arrow this also this also indicates the round and arrow similarly if you see here this also indicates the round and arrow this also indicates the round and arrow so other characteristics there is no round and arrow characteristics so if you count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so there will be the in the phenotypic ratio so there will be the 9 so then after if you see so if you see this will be the one characteristic so these are round but green so this is also the round and green and this is also the round and green so that will be the 3 so if you see the next one so if you see the next one so this is the green this is the wrinkled and the wrinkled and the allo if you see next characteristics so if you see this next characteristic this is wrinkled and this is also the wrinkled this is also wrinkled and allo and this is also wrinkled and allo and if you see the next this is the wrinkled and green so if you see 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to that will be the 1 so this will be the phenotypic ratio of the of the law of independent assortment so after the self pollinations in the f1 generation so what will be the genotypic ratio so the genotypic ratio will be the so genotypic ratio will be the best upon the gene so if you see here the differences in gene you can count the differences in gene so according to the differences in gene it will be 1 is to 2 is to 1 is to 2 is to 4 is to 2 is to 1 is to 2 is to 1 so this will be your genotypic ratio so so from this what you can conclude that in the first filial generation the round and aloe was crushed with the wrinkled and the green and in the first filial generations all the all the seeds were round and aloe but the, after the self pollination of the product of first filial generation so similar pattern was obtained in the phenotypic ratio phenotypic means what we can see genotypic means the gene combination so in the phenotypic ratio what we can see is that 9 are the round and the allo 3 were the 3 were the round and the green and 3 were the 3 were the uh, allo 3 were the wrinkled and allo, allo and 1 was the wrinkled and green so that was the product that was obtained here so in the genotypic ratio the genotypic ratio obtained was based upon the gene so you can see here this genotypic this gene this gene this gene this gene are related so this is the 4 so i have written here 4 means so this 4 1 2 3 4 genes are related so this is the 4 similarly i have here i have also written this is the only one gene so i have written here 1 so similarly you can count or you can look at the gene and you can make the genotypic ratio in this way so thank you for watching my videos if you really like the video please don't forget to like the uh, like the channel subscribe the channel and see you thank you